Johnny Rock Show. Rockin' 101, the rock station. Rockin' 101, the rock station. Straight up, 9 a.m. on a Friday. Calling from Portlandia. Looky here, Elvira, mistress of the dark. But I like to call you Cassandra. How you been? I've been great. How have you been? It's been a year. You told me to the day, right? Yeah, we were talking off air. I mentioned it earlier. The uh, the old Facebook memories. One year ago today, you were you were on the show. But I wish you would come back more, more often. What? I mean, it's a it's a year we have to wait to talk to you. Why don't we do like uh, I don't know an Easter Elvira special so you can come on at least like six months from now or something. Man. Yeah, why not why not uh Thanksgiving? Uh, hey, if you're playing <laughs> it up. If you're if you're playing, I'm paying. Now the new it's not a Whoa. new it's not a new book, but it's a new special edition, uh the paperback of the memoir Yours Cruelly, Elvira. Mm, uh, memoirs right. of the Mistress of the Dark. Now, you can get it wherever you get books. And we talked about this uh, when the book came out last year, I believe. But it is, it's a fun book, but it's also a, kind of a serious book, yes? Yes. Um, yeah, it's got a lot more than just uh, horror and spooky Elvira stuff. It's kind of my whole life before I was Elvira, which I always tell people was really, really exciting. When I got to be Elvira, things calmed down and got normal. Now, it says here, Elvis Presley inspired you to leave Las Vegas? Yes, even though Elvis Presley also inspired me to go to Las Vegas because um, I saw Viva Las Vegas when I was about mm, 13, 14 years old. And uh, from that day on, I, all I could think about was wanting to go to Vegas and be a showgirl. And um, by the time I was 17, I actually got a job in Las Vegas as a showgirl at the Dunes Hotel. It was 1969. Elvis played there. Um, he just opened his show at, in the Las Vegas International Hotel, and he came to see my show, and I ended up meeting him, and he uh, totally changed my life because he told me to get the hell out. Of oh, Vegas, really? Which I did. Really? What did yeah. he? What did he see? Uh, maybe in you or around you that made him want to protect you? Well, I don't. He was. He was honestly so kind and sweet, and and he just said that Vegas is no place for a seventeen-year-old girl, which. I would have to say I agree with that. <laughs> if you read my book, you'll see some of the things that happened while I was in Vegas. Uh, I grew up very, very fast there. Um, but he, he urged me to become a singer. We sat down at the piano, and he played and sang, and I sang along with him. And he said, you have a good voice. You're, why, why don't you get some vocal lessons and maybe get into a singing career? And coming from Elvis, I, you know, I, I, I did, I did what Elvis said. Would you? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know? Oh my God. And uh, can I ask what year? Yeah. What year was this? Had to be. Well, he passed away in seventy yeah, seven. So. What? Nineteen sixty nine. Wow. He was the super hot Elvis. He had yes. just finished that special, the TV special where he yeah. wore the whole black leather outfit, yeah, you know, and come back. He was. He was uh, 34, 34, so yeah, well, it's a big comeback. I'm doing the math. In 1969, Elvira was eight years old. Amazing, and you were a showgirl at <laughs> eight. Well, so... You, eight, yeah, the youngest showgirl in history, eight, eight oh years my old. God. But, well, yeah, but I always say it, I uh, hadn't been for... Elvis, I would now be the oldest showgirl in Las Vegas. <laughs> well, about a month, <laughs> three weeks ago, I was speaking with uh, Sven Gulli, and I told him... He can, oh. he can be number two in the uh, hosts of late night horror films, but you're you know you're number one. Why do you think you? Oh, really, well, I love him. Well, me too. But I mean, let's be honest. You you are like the Beatles of late night horror film hosts, and he he, he can be the Stones. But what made you? Oh. <laughs> what made you that iconic character? Do you think? You know, um, I there's a combination of things with Elvira that other horror hosts don't. All have, <laughs> you know, don't go there. But I, it's, I, I always say she's spooky, sexy, and funny. And I think a, a lot of the other horror hosts are spooky. A lot of them are funny, um, and a few of them are very sexy. But I don't know that there's a combination of all three of those things. And I think that what's that what that is what makes so very unique. Also, I was able to take my show national. Um, and most of the other horror, horror hosts, of course, are regional. Oh, absolutely, yes. 
Absolutely. Yeah, we had uh, in the Twin Cities growing up. He wasn't a, a horror movie host so much, but he, during the days, he was like a, a dialing for dollars named up. Mel Jazz. And let me tell you, he was no Elvira. He was like a 72 year old <laughs> dad of seven, and he was always irritated. And, uh, you know, he talked to, anyways. Well, I, I love. No, he didn't have the sexy part, Joe. No, right? Mel Jazz, not too sexy. Well, I do love the book. Again, it's funny. And it's also very touching. And before you leave, I want to hear about uh, how, how you get into music. Because you, you know, you do it all. You even have songs out. We played, uh, what was it, uh, My Big uh, my big Pumpkins a few minutes ago. And uh, we'll play out with uh, <laughs> Don't Cancel Halloween. You were always a, a showgirl, a singer, I guess, yes? Yeah, it, yeah, it, I, I was. And, um, I mean, I, I did a little bit of dancing, a little bit of singing. And then finally, a little bit of acting. So I don't know what I really am. I I don't even call myself an actor. I just call myself, I don't know what do I call myself, a dork. I, don't. Oh, <laughs> I, don't wow. I just do a little bit of everything. Well, listen, you have a great, safe Halloween 2022. Look at this. It, you know, a couple of years ago, we couldn't even go out and trick or treat. Now, I'm not going to say we're you know we're back, but we're uh, with your help we're back, right? Right, Elvira? Yeah, a little bit, almost okay. all the way. Almost. All right. Well, you be safe, uh, and like I said, we're going to do the Elvira Easter special, and you'll be back before we know it. And Thanksgiving's fine, Elvira for Christmas. Uh, and uh, I didn't. I I, I I I saved you from the Oak Ridge Boys this year. I didn't think I'd play that one for. Oh, you. thank you, thank you, Johnny. Oh my God, I appreciate that. I've already heard that about three times this morning. Oh, Elvira. Yeah. They, oh my God. They stole it from me. Well, here's a don't cancel Halloween. <laughs> Sounds like Madonna. Thanks. Only better. Thank you, Elvira. Happy Halloween, Johnny. Oh, thank you. Happy Halloween. Pretty amazing. Rock Show. Rockin' 101. The Rock